Yes, but I think that was the case uh, which, which occurred in 2000. And the Class 65 raised about $10,000, I think it was 9000 9, and some change. They had the design of the bear uh, subject to some modifications. And uh, it, it went so far until they needed two lawyers to get involved. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know about that, but uh, it wasn't too long that uh, at that time, Kathy Alexander was kind of the chair of the committee. And she came to Mike and myself, and, and Mike was the president of 66, and I was the president of 67. And they asked if, if we would spearhead the committee. Wasn't too long we realized we had a bear by the tail. <laughs> we didn't. We were afraid to let go, and we were afraid to hold on. And uh, we kept holding on, and we kept going forward with uh, many other sculptors, and he's he's a painter too. At one point in the fundraising aspect of this thing, we kind of felt stalled. So. Uh, big benefactors that we want to recognize. Bill and Ann Shear of the class of 65, they... <laughs> they're both of the class of 65 and live in Florida. And uh, Joe and Michelle Evelo of the class of, well, Joe is the class of 67. made a, a matching grant to the members of the class of 67, which really helped. During the course of this thing, Holman and Company required that uh, this, they didn't want to own the monument, and they wanted it to be owned by uh, a not-for-profit. So thank you all for being here, for supporting this, and it was long at overdue. 1937, that's just yesterday, would be the anniversary, by Pope Pius XI was consecrated in the new cathedral at St. Louis on September 21st by Archbishop John J. Glennon. He was named the second Archbishop of Indianapolis on July 20th, 1946. How are you? Good. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah!